Hey, y'all. It's January the 12th, 2019. And y'all, I wanted to holler at y'all real briefly about some pretty important stuff, some pretty crucial stuff. And um, I got to give you a little background. I want to shout out again to my man, Anaconda Malt Liquor. All right, he's got a very popular channel on YouTube. And um, first off, I want to say he has gotten me a pretty good amount of subscribers, some pretty interesting subscribers, leaving interesting, interesting comments and things of that nature. So I appreciate him for that. I really do. But even more than that, uh, what I want to stress is that my man is on point a lot of times when he asks really good questions himself. He comes to my channel and I appreciate it. Um, he asked very good questions. That's the thing. That's why I kind of had to keep bringing it up. And me personally, if I had the time, if there was enough time in the day, I'd probably make a video to all y'all's comments. All right, little videos, but I just don't have the time or the patience. All right. Certain questions that just cut to the heart of the matter. And uh, Anaconda, he asked another one. Thing is, it's not the first time that I've heard this. I don't know if it's a question so much as a sentiment, an interjection, if you will, on one of the recent videos, which we were talking about, uh, Mr. Scotty the Ferengi um, Israel Sheriff, or actually, <laughs> can't call him Sheriff no more. So Mr. Scotty Ferengi Israel, um, and the fact is that he got publicly uh, embarrassed recently. We we're covering that quite closely. We're, we're keeping our eyeballs on that. All right, in this situation, in the conspiratorium, or whatever you want, might, for the people who are out there wondering what happened at Parkland, all right, they might be thinking to themselves, okay, maybe Scotty Israel, he's getting taken out of the situation, all right, uh, but maybe that's only the tip of the iceberg, if you will, as far as conspirators in on this situation of whether or not this was a drill or not, whether or not people even got killed or not, all right? I'm of the personal belief, even though it doesn't matter, that people did get killed, all right? Uh, and, and things did happen over there at Parkland, and I have no idea what, what it is that happened. All right, so a lot of people have been calling for the former sheriff, Scotty, Scotty Israel. They were calling for his elimination, I guess, from the position of sheriff because they didn't feel very safe over there in parkland so they made a big deal about it kept talking to people about it <clears throat> and what is it uh about 10 months later they finally get uh they finally get sheriff uh former sheriff suspended all right and they put in another guy and i forget his name but they put in another guy with some experience actually a lot of experience in uh preventing mass shootings and stuff uh you know i'm saying coincidentally all right, but the situation of Scotty Israel getting suspended, some people see that as justice. Some people think that that is a wild, that, that Scotty Israel did the best that he could, and he's the very best out there. <laughs> and then, okay, so uh, most people who look at the situation realize that Scotty Israel doesn't know the first thing about keeping people safe, and so obviously he shouldn't be in the position. A lot of those people are very, very happy right now. Because uh, 10 months later, Scotty Israel is finally taken out of that position. And they chalk it up to justice. Meanwhile, back to Anaconda uh, Malt Liquor. It's not the first time I heard it. from. He's not the first person to say it. They think that Scotty Israel is actually more guilty than that. That he has... <laughs> he has not only uh, suspension, not only getting removed from his office up his alley, but he's got all sort of justice coming up his alley. And so those people are very curious, uh, very uh, paranoid. <laughs> I mean, uh, very questioning. Well, the fact is, are they going to just sweep Scotty Israel out of the way, say he's the worst man ever, he did a very bad job and nobody else did, and uh, maybe everybody under Sheriff Scotty Israel did a bad job, but everything else, let's just forget about that. All right? That's what people are wondering. They're wondering if Scotty Israel is the last of the patsies at Parkland and, oh, we're just going to forget about it. We're going to pretend like it didn't happen. 
right? And I do want to point out that you're going to notice that certain little bills and laws that were passed regarding guns in Florida are being repealed now. All right, they're being taken away now. They said, oh, that, that BS, those little, uh, I don't even know what it was, bump stocks, I'm not sure what, the, I don't know what they banned, but they unbanned it. All right, so they repealed that. They done, now that those midterm elections are over, they done now suspended Israel. And I want to point that out, and I wanted to dwell upon that. Because a lot of people, like we're implying, think that they should have done way more. And they should have done it already. And they're wondering why it's taking so long. They're wondering why it seems like people are BSing them all over the place in regards to justice. All right. And everybody knows what I'm talking about. But I want to point out, uh, paint a little picture for everybody. In this certain situation... When people are looking at a Rick Scott, for example, and they're looking at a Ron DeSantis, for example, and they're looking at a Pam Bondi, and the list goes on, they're saying, you know, uh, y'all should be doing more. There should have been more done. In fact, you're making us think that maybe you're in on this little game because we've seen the footage of uh, y'all uh, right after the incident. <clears throat> and people are analyzing it, and people are watching it over and over and over, and they're looking for clues, and they're looking for hints. So a lot of people don't trust Rick Scott. So a lot of people don't have no trust for a Ron DeSantis or a Pam Bondi. And they're thinking to themselves, shouldn't they done the, shouldn't they done more? Well, to paint the picture, I got to explain, I mean, in my personal opinion from what I've seen, and I've seen a lot, right, there's no way that Pam Bondi, there's no way that Rick Scott could have came out right after the shooting and started calling people out, even if that's what they thought it was. There's no way that they could have done it. It would have been political a suicide. And everybody should know that, or at least people here from America, they would understand, you start talking that crazy talk out of nowhere, you, your job's done, you're over, you're done, all right? So they couldn't have said it back then. And who knows how much they knew. Of course, it seems like they would have more connections than you and I. So who knows how much they knew and when. But I do want to point out that we're in a particular justice system that, albeit it is retarded, it still is the system in place. And unfortunately, either way you slice it, these people have to um, <clears throat> participate in that system. All right? They can't say anything really because if they say anything too much that the public is not ready for, like, like I said, immediately they'll be removed from their own office, right? For talking that crazy talk, all right? I got, I got to let y'all know, we've seen all the footage that they've probably seen too, all right? In which all these say, for example, we've done documentaries about it, the witnesses, all, all everything that they say is preposterous, a lot of it contradictory to the other ones, all right? So we've seen all that, <clears throat> but the thing is, I want to point out, and this is just to give everybody the benefit of the doubt, because really, honestly, I don't know anything about this situation, but I've been studying it. I want to point out that, um, first of all, they can't just come out and make accusations already. It's going to be political suicide. But what it'll do is kind of ruin the case that they, if there is a case, if they're building a case right now, it's going to ruin it. If they're talking about witness statements and this and that, because none of those witness statements were under oath anyways. None of them really mean anything. In fact, witness statements are not typically the most accurate bits of evidence you're ever going to find. All right. Especially in a situation like this where you got hundreds of witnesses, it's not going to work. All right, so they can't exactly point that. Rick Scott, there, there's no way that he could talk about that in public. Pam Bondi, this night. You got to understand it's like uh, kind of in between a rock and a hard place. Now, are they playing games behind the scenes? Are they trying to sweep this all under the rug? That's very much a possibility. I got to let you know. And I want everybody to understand that it is a possibility. I really couldn't tell you it is. I really don't know. But from seeing the actions that have been taking place during the timing that's been taking place with all these situations, too, including especially the midterm elections, it seems as though the hammer is coming down on Israel. It's going to come down harder. Thing is, you can't 
you can't call Israel out for all these lies, which we know that, and it's been reported that everybody's saying, yeah, we think there's lies. We think there's manipulation going on. We just don't know what's going on. All right. You can't call Israel out yet because you did not have a sheriff in place yet to start calling some shots. Maybe start installing some different detectives on the scene. Maybe taking a look for himself to see all the stuff that doesn't add up, all right? That's a particular process. They did just put a new sheriff in town, but he's gonna need at least more than a couple days. All right, that I can promise you. To catch people in all their sort of lies and thoroughly to, to every extent, detail every last piece of garbage that was spewing from their mouths, to include especially uh, Mr. Scotty Ferengi. All right. there, will, there would be a process involved. And, of course, you can't spook the public. And, of course, if you're building a case, you can't go running your mouth either and ruin the case. Because you don't have all the evidence yet, you're taking that over. You done took the uh, public office. People done voted you in by by overwhelming majorities. All right, they want what you say. They said they heard you say responsibility. They heard you say accountability. They they heard you saying justice for every last person who dropped every last ball there at, at Parkland on February the fourteenth. All right they would have to go through a process and what we're looking at right now and i want to remind you i don't know which way this road goes but we're looking at a process right now that almost day by day another piece to the puzzle is added and we see clear first of all when this when this puzzle is done and finished it ain't going back in the box all right but the puzzle gets clearer and clearer that gets another piece every single day all right, <laughs> and what we're watching right now is what moves are Rick Scott, Ron DeSantis, Pam Bondi, and the rest going to make? Now, there's already been the moves of removing not only uh, Sheriff Scotty Israel, but that crazy old lady, um, <laughs> Brenda Snipes, with the, with the Albert Einstein hair and stuff, <laughs> removing her as well. All right, some people see that as a, there's some Democrats out there who see that as like, I don't know what they see that as. But me, I'm seeing it as a process of taking that person out. Ooh, I took that person out. Ooh, I'm going to go look at the evidence now. Ooh, it seems like you're more guilty than we thought you were. All right. Seems like you don't have any clue what you're talking about. And it seems like somehow you were commiserating with the mass media. That's what it seems like. It seems like you're perpetrating all these drills and nothing that makes any sense. That's what it seems like, but that will take some time. And actually everything's reaching a fever pitch at this point and stuff. But I want to suggest for everybody to stay uh, calm out there and just watch the show. All right, because people are um, incriminating themselves right now. Anyways, I appreciate y'all. It's uh, January the 12th, 2019, if you got any of those sentiments if you got any of those hints any of those clues any of those theories if you got anything at all that you want to share go ahead and leave it in the comments and know that i appreciate you i'll holler at y'all